Hello, this is Mark from Your Athlete. I uh, just wanted to let you know I put out an article uh, on the 25th of this month to our e-newsletter. If you aren't receiving our e-newsletters, make sure you go to the home site at mirathlete.com, go to the subscription box, and just go ahead and put in your email <coughs> uh, address, and you will receive the monthly news articles and so much more. Uh, also, um, if you are a subscribing member, this is all free, doesn't cost you anything, and you want to get the, uh, um, the American Cancer Society's uh, new cancer statistics, um, they're basically the American Cancer Society Cancer Facts and Figures 2008. Um, when you do put your email address in the subscription box, uh, there will be a downloadable link where you can get that 72-page report. I highly recommend you do it. It's a great report and it falls in line um, with this article is pancreatic cancer on the rise and also uh, the following article which is pancreatic cancer statistics and recommendations. So take some of that information and I put together the second article to finish off this first one. But this first article that I wrote uh, was something that was near and dear to my heart and it uh, really spurred me to write the article was the death of Patrick Swayze. He just passed away this year. Most of you know that because pretty, uh, pretty uh, popular person you know in terms of you know his movie career. People know him from Dirty Dancing, Roadhouse um, and he was just working on uh, a 13 episodes The Beast. Uh, he was diagnosed with cancer 2008 uh, March uh, and um, survived 20 months thereafter finishing a 13 episode series of the beast uh, so he was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer there's a couple things that we know about his lifestyle habits um, he, he did have one regret is that he smoked and he continued to smoke until his death well finding out you know when you read in the article that the doctor said even if he would have quit smoking, it would have made a difference with the outcome. Uh, pancreatic cancer really is uh, a death sentence. It's, it's not a matter of if you're going to die, it's really when you're going to die. And then I made a comparison uh, with Michael Landon, which he passed away in 1991 of pancreatic cancer as well. Um, the difference between the two individuals, that's an 18 year difference, you know, in timelines. Um, but there is a difference with the uh, you know, with the, um, the treatment. And back then, Michael Landon was treated with chemo, while well, Patrick Swayze was treated with chemo and uh, new chemical um, or drugs um, that weren't available for Michael Landon. And most of you remember Michael Landon. He, he was a little house, house on the prairie, highway to heaven. Um, Bonanza, just a phenomenal individual. You know, both these, both these guys, I watched them from day one when I was a kid. And, and I did, didn't just only admire their, their acting, but I, I admired them as, as people. I, I just thought they were really neat human beings. And it was really unfortunate that they both passed away uh, before their time, I think, um, from such a devastating um, disease. So I went ahead and uh, put an article, wrote an article around these two. Um, I was also looking at uh, area I was thinking to myself. I've been thinking about this since... 1991, you know, and Landon um, died. I thought, well, is, is it because they're in California? Is it is it just because it's just a polluted state? Is it, you know, is it because it's a sunny state? You know, what what's what's the deal? So when Patrick Swayze died, I thought, well, he's out of California as well, Malibu area and all that uh, stuff, Hollywood. And I thought, well, maybe there's something there. But you know, after doing a little more research, really didn't have anything. Um, I don't know if it had anything to do with the geographic area. The one thing I, I do see looking at these uh, um, cancer statistics, uh, facts and figures, is that there are four states in the United States where we have higher cases of cancer, like this one, this one page here in the report is an estimated new cancer cases for selected cancer sites by state 2008. Uh, selected sites means the, you know, where the cancer is located within the body or the type of cancer. Um, so anyway, when I read off these numbers, this is a total number of cancer cases, not just pancreas, prostate, breast cancer, 
urinary, you know, it's just all the cancers. So the number one on the list is California, 156,530. Florida at 101,920. Uh, New York at 97,130. And Texas at 96,320. Um, so, you know, three of those states out of four, they're sunny states. Um, but they're also more or less retiree states, so you do have an older demographic there. Of, um, and, you know, after reading through these reports, is that knowing that prostate cancer is a, it's an unknown cancer. I mean, uh, you know, we really don't know what causes it. We have suspicions that uh, lifestyle have uh, something to do with it. And the one thing in comparing these two individuals, Michael Landon and Patrick Swayze, is that Michael Landon was a heavy, heavy drinker and, and a four pack smoker per day. And uh, the one regret that Patrick Swayze had is that he smoked, although he was in fantastic shape, his doctor said so. Um, so that had, and he had a great attitude about the situation and, and he wanted to continue work and finish finishing the series. Plus, he had um, a new drug treatment along with the chemo, so there were some additional things there that, that extended his life, but by no means, from what I'm looking at on these reports, is that to make it past a, a five-year survival rate, uh, it doesn't look like it's going to, you know, <laughs> I mean, with pro pancreas cancer, if you can make it that long, I'd, I'd be really surprised. So the other thing with this report, why I want you to get it is because Aside from pancreas, you know, I've, I've written on um, prostate, I've written on breast cancer and things of that sort, but this, this report has all the types of cancers uh, listed, like breast, skin, bones and joints, respiratory, digestive system, oral cavity, urinary, eye orbit, endocrine, you know, like thyroid, things of that sort, lymphoma, leukemia, and it also, for each one of these types of cancers, it has the estimated death, deaths from the past. Okay, so there's a lot of reports at this link that I provide you that you can download and you can read them and you'll be ready for the next report that I put out and you'll see that this is where I'm getting those facts and figures from. I wanna share this with you for you and your family because this is important stuff. Have knowledge is power and maybe, you know, power in, in improving your health or not risking your health, you know, I did a uh, article not too long ago on COPD. You can go ahead and into the archives, um, go to my YouTube link. You can pull that up and watch that as well. Um, talks about smoking and, and the, the uh, dramatic impact it has on your health and your lungs and ultimately your death if you uh, don't stop doing that and there's a point of no return. But within this report, um, for each one of these different cancer sites, it talks about the deaths, signs and symptoms, uh, risk factors, early detection, treatment, and survival. Um, so it's got a lot of information in here, so I highly recommend you go back to the site at mirrorathlete.com, M-I-R-R-O-R-A-T-H-L-E-T-E.com. Just put your email address in there and you'll get the downloadable link just like that, it's a snap. Uh, plus you'll go ahead and you'll get the uh, e-newsletter uh, free subscription that's a monthly so it's all good stuff hope to talk to you soon you know I'm not out walking today because it's raining here in the great northwest uh, I was out walking in the rain yesterday but I always tell you that walking is the best cardiovascular fitness exercise the base, best pain alleviation program that you could do for yourself so get out there either rain or shine I'll probably still go out today um, so anyway I'm gonna put this out there and we'll get back to you with you really soon good health to you and your family have a great day